Kamakuras, the first confirmed giant monster, appeared in Manhattan on May 4, 1999, and proceeded to destroy the World Trade Center and devastate much of the city. At the same time, Comacurus larvae appeared in the subway system under New York and preyed on people. Because of the fact that Comacurus appeared in a densely populated area, the military response was delayed, resulting in an estimated 2.5 million casualties. Comacurus was finally destroyed near Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 72 hours after making landfall using bunker buster bombs. Although these giant mantis-like monsters were destroyed, the destruction that they inflicted on humankind will never be forgotten. And some, I fear, could still be alive today somewhere out there. The original Comacurus first appeared in the film Son of Godzilla and was a type of large praying mantis indigenous to Sulgul Island. A group of the mantises turned into monsters due to a failed weather-controlled experiment. They are huge, carnivorous insects that possess the intelligence to act collectively when engaging in predatory activity or combat with an enemy. Hey guys, Iceman here. And these events with Comacurus all transpired in the Godzilla Monster Apocalypse novel, which is the prequel novel to the 2017 animated film Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. Yeah, all sorts of epic shit happened in this novel, and I'm gonna make more videos on these events. They include a vast array of monster kaiju from the Godzillaverse. And what's really interesting about this Comacurus event is this is the first time a monster revealed itself to humankind. It's very frightening, especially to consider how they supposedly destroyed the World Trade Center. As a giant mantis, Comacurus has all the natural abilities of a normal praying mantis, such as flight and spiked claws. In the film Godzilla Final Wars, Comacurus is shown to have the power to alter its natural color, allowing Comacurus to camouflage and blend in with its surroundings. These humongous mantises are indeed disgusting looking kaiju monsters, and we can only hope that the last of them have been exterminated. But what do you guys think about this event in the Monster Apocalypse novel? Let me know in the comment section below and like this video. Subscribe to the page and stay tuned for more explanations regarding these events. I'm the Iceman. More videos to come.